Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, excuse us for slight technical difficulty, but we're back here not round, uh, right now inside of Brother John's. Just to give you guys an idea as well of our home business and what's happening here with Brother John's, let's take a look around and see how many people are actually here okay, you can right take now. The camera, yeah. There you go. And look, right in front of you, this is the stage where many of us played here for almost three years and the music was still going on well, until well, Davis the isn't COVID. Hiding behind the stage, no, he's not hiding behind the stage and neither is uh, and neither is Lamont Arthur, the oh, piano oh. player. Those two guys are really great. And uh, they've been here for a long time, but this was this is now a stage. But they, we didn't have a stage before, but we would uh, line up right here, and uh, across the stage we had jazz from three to six every Sunday. Mr. Glendon Gross and I, Glenn would of course be sitting in and playing with the groups that were here, uh, would would come and I'd come and do Connecting Culture show right here. Three years of a lot of video that's going on, but let's take a look and see. Look at the, what's going on. Here at Brother John's right now, this is the max amount of people that are here today, right now as I speak to you, and all of this is usually filled with people in the background. So when these grants come, please consider Brother John's as being one of the people hard hit too as well. As you can see, a bar is totally empty, and this is the dining room area, and that's all we have. That's all she wrote for Brother John's right now. Hopefully tonight there'll be more. So, anyways, so what's going know, on? We're going to try to bring you some of that live footage that we all know and, and love uh, from a few years ago when we could all get together without masks. Right. And so if you watch this space, I'm going to upload some of that bit footage probably in the next uh, uh, four or five hours. Okay. I'll put something up there. That'll be great, because, man. You know, we all have fond memories of this. and. We know that musicians are hard hit by this pandemic. Because That's true. We're used to gathering together all the time, and now we have yeah. to change our, our habits. But thankfully, as yeah. uh, jazz musicians, those of us who play jazz, we're used to improvising, which means we don't do things the same way every time. <laughs> Even if it's written Going the outside way, the box, man. We're not going to play it the same way. Yeah. You know? so, there you go, baby. So there you go, bro. We're going to hopefully figure out, all of us who are jazz musicians, how can we do our jobs more effectively in this new environment when we can't all be together in the room at the same time? Well, we can, and Mr. Glennie Gross and I have talked about that. We're going to try to do from, Glen, from, from, from Green Valley to Tucson and bring you some of that footage uh, along the way, too, in the very near future. Like Mr. Glennie Gross said, it might be five hours from now, but for those of you that want to check out the show, not only this one, of course, he'll be posting it on, on YouTube as well. Is that correct, uh, Mr.? Yeah, we're so it's gross. The, the usual thing is we broadcast the show live on Facebook and then we post it to you, YouTube and then share it back on, on Facebook. Yeah, so so, that was, so he'll be able to do that with all the footage. I mean, we've got about three years of footage, maybe a little more. Uh, because, we, you know, actually I was still doing Connecting Culture Show. Mr. Glenn Gross was playing here with a lot of the groups. So everybody was there and I was that, that footage is his also as well as, as Connecting Culture Show. We both share the same feelings about jazz and music and the musicians alive today. It's only he and I, but we're here with you. Thank you, Facebook Familia. There's something else I'd like to say to people, I'm going to take the opportunity to say is right. that if you haven't checked out my uh, group, it's called Quarantine Records. Uh -huh. It's a Facebook group. It's got about 250 members. There's been wonderful world-class musicians posting live uh, broadcasts. One of them is uh, LA piano player Sabine Poitier. She posts the most beautiful uh, piano playing videos. Wow. And uh, and I usually share things if I see somebody, something I think is really great, I'll share it. Uh, like, for example, a flute. Whenever I hear anything by flautist uh, Cristala Sotomayor, you know. Oh, yeah. Back, that's a... she's, she's so good. I mean, it, and she's young, but she's as good as people that are twice her age. Yeah. So anyway, we're trying to do that with the group Quarantine Records. And if you're not a member, just uh, send a request. And uh, we'll make sure that you get um, invited to join the group and then you'll be able to review a lot of great video over there. The other thing I want to remind you guys who are musicians is don't forget about, in, when it comes to economics, don't forget about the law of supply and demand. Normally, when the supply is great, um, if the demand is constant, then the value of each individual item is not so much. So if we had all the clubs full with live bands like we wanted, well, then each performance is worth a little bit less uh -huh. uh, in perspective. And with the economy but, but, the way it now is? Now that all these places are empty, whatever live broadcast you put together as a musician, it is meeting a very important need, and it is worth more, in my opinion, Absolutely. due to the law of supply and demand. So it can work out in your favor when you start to uh, broadcast on Facebook, yeah. through social media. 
you're going to find a whole new audience and an audience that's international from different countries. And uh, you'll be uh, projecting a type of television, a type of broadcasting that is much needed as an alternative. Especially to the, live the way the we are. mongering in the mainstream media. That's correct, Mr. Gross. And that is what the Connecting Culture Show wants to continue to achieve along with you guys. So just stay tuned for us. We're always going to give you a little post of, where, of when we're going to be on, so on and so forth. There is one other thing I wanted to bring up. Mr. Glendon Gross has some information about people for people who are trumpet players and would like to mouthpieces. He's got a bunch of great mouthpieces that he's putting together, and we can <laughs> yes. put that online. Why don't you give them a little, a little okay, so the, play of that? So the story about that is... I listed six mouthpieces because I've got too many. I got about 50, and I really only need like 20 or, or so. <laughs> <laughs> only but they, 20. But they all sold within one week. Wow, on, nice. On eBay. So I'm going to keep listing them, and I'll probably post a link uh, to the pages on uh, Facebook. So where do they go to, to, so to check it out? To individuals, you know, different people. I've sold, uh, I sold three in one day. And I usually ship them the same day that the order comes in. Okay. So, and where would that go to if they wanted somebody to order? Where, how do they connect so, with uh, you? Uh, you can go to my uh, eBay store. And if you just search for eBay for Blendon 144. But right now I think I'm sold out. I think I've shipped all the mouthpieces that I've listed. Uh -huh. So I need to take some time and mind the store and list some more mouthpieces. But I got some really cool pieces I'm going to be listing by uh, famous uh, trumpet uh, mouthpiece makers. Uh -huh. And uh, some of them belong to... Um, uh, well-known trumpet players and others I've played right. acquired from various people and I think you'll find a lot of great equipment if you're a trumpet player I'm going to try to have more of that available in the near future okay and that one that you're using right now with that trumpet uh, by the way what what name brand is that trumpet what what, what style is it in, in the beautiful land of Taiwan it's uh, called Carol Brass uh -huh. they call it a triple shepherd's crook cornet because it's got three shepherd's crook it's got this one this one and the main one on the on the on the bell Oh, nice. So that, that feature of the shepherd's crook is designed to make the instrument very free-blowing because you have a gradual curvature of the tubing for as much time as possible. Yeah. Anybody's so, brand name is on that? Yes, it's besides called Carol Brass. They're made in Taiwan. So if you search for Carol Brass Triple Shepherd's Crook Cornet, and the guy I got it from is Scotty Welch. Who, Scotty uh, Welch, Yeah, huh? Scotty Welch is a wonderful trumpet player collector who, who actually played uh, in Eisenhower's personal dance band back in the day. Wow, nice. Nice, nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, back to the COVID thing. I'm hoping, and Mr. Glendon Gross shares the same, I'm sure, that everybody is following the mask mandates that are going on right now. And, uh, you know, as you can see, well, see, he's got one on. Uh, I have one on also as well. But we also, uh, I'm going to incorporate one more th added feature, which is to use gloves, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of times now, they're now swabbing. It's been on the news, just like that. That's right, Mr. Gross. Uh, that they're, they're starting to swab all, all counters, bathrooms, dining rooms, you know, art, all articles around the home for people, just in case they don't know that they're carrying it. And of course, we all cough, you know, dust, whatever the case may be. But the bottom line is that they have found that the COVID uh, uh, back to virus actually can live uh, about seven days, you said, uh, yeah, well, Glendon? I thought it was five days, based on the Korean expert. It can live on surfaces, so you can like, you can just touch a countertop where there's been an infected person there, Yeah. and you can catch it by touching the countertop and then touching your face afterwards. Yeah, and in a world where we're trying to be so darn careful, how natural is it to just rub your face real quickly? You know, you're there by yourself, but you just happen to touch something somewhere uh, and, you're, and, you're, and you don't have gloves on and then you touch your face and boom, you're wondering, man, I was so careful. I did, and now where the heck did I get this? Well, consider that fact, okay, along the way. And that gloves aren't still 100% because they can also have droplets, uh, you know, play, <laughs> you, you know, may touch with the gloves your hands. So basically try to keep a few of them around, use them and throw them away. Don't keep them and wash, rewash them and do it like that. That's not, your life isn't worth that. You know, you can get, you can go to a dollar store and probably buy a box for a buck or two. And, and they'll, they'll have, there's plenty of them. So by all means, treat yourself to a, to a healthier way of staying alive. Okay, because the COVID is no joke. Well, Mr. Gross, would you have another song that you'd like to share with us? Something from the old days right here. Hey, there you go.
Nice. Man, that reminds me of when we used to play that song with a group called Burke's Works. Hey, that was a while back. <laughs> yes, it was. And by the way, let's not, let's not forget the U of A, who's doing a fantastic job of trying to figure out what to deal with. Their chemistry department is actually working on COVID uh, uh, vaccines as well. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of things that's happening here in Tucson that uh, uh, that uh, is going to affect the rest of the, the the world actually because if they do come with a creation of, of a vaccine it'll come out of here how about that we we'll talk about coming you know getting on the map with with, with a virus that's been killing so many people yeah, there's be a great thing when it any and not only that, but there's different companies competing to make competing uh, as well. Vaccine. One of them is Novavax. Yeah. And there's a trial that just completed in Oxford, England. Uh, right, right. A successful uh, right. establishment of antibodies. And, yeah. So I think we're collectively humanity is coming together. We're doing our best to to try to solve this problem, despite uh, the, the uh, attempts to blame one country or another. Oh, one country or another. You know, that, and that's true. Uh, that other countries have uh, have complied with uh, with with. Uh, a little bit better than us, but you know what? We've taken it to a higher level as far as not only coming up with a vaccine, but making sure that it works long term because this isn't the only place that it's been affected. It's affecting all over the world. So imagine coming from all those all those uh, companies and right here in, in Tucson, the, the, the U of A uh, chemistry labs are working hard to get people uh, uh, back on the track of being healthy again from this virus. So don't forget, uh, please stay within your distance. Stay listening to everything that's being told to you about using the mask, social distancing, you know, uh, gloves, okay? Gloves, touching <laughs> touching surfaces as well. Uh, they're not 100%, but they're a heck of a lot better than nothing uh, when it comes to that. So we're here again at Brother John's. Have you guys, the ones who haven't been around uh, Brother John's for a while, you know this sign. <laughs> Beer, bourbon, and barbecue at Brother John's. It's been a while since we've been here, Glenn. And I'm glad that we're here in front doing this, uh, this TV show here today to bring out more uh, awareness to, uh, to our locals as well about the COVID uh, situation. Well, I think we might as well sign off now. I think it's probably a good time. Well, it is. And uh, so don't forget... In, on behalf of Mr. Glendon Gross, his trumpet, and myself here uh, at Brother John's location, thank you for tuning in to the Connecting Culture Show. We will give you another promo to give you a good heads up of where we'll be doing this again. And Mr. Glendon Gross will sign us off with one of his songs to end the Connecting Culture Show. <laughs>